here to share about one of the traditions that I cherish at St. Paul's in this stewardship season of reflecting on how we can uphold these traditions, blessings, and possibilities. I wonder what each of you think about when we say the prayers of the people. I find a special connection when we pray for each parishioner and his or her family. Some of the parishioners that we pray for, I do not know. However, when I am praying for their sadness or ailments, I feel the strength of each of you here in the chapel. When we pray for the departed, I wonder how their journey was, and I hope that they are in eternal peace. It is important to do this, because when the time comes for each of us to leave, I pray that we each leave a legacy of beautiful memories for those who remain. On a personal note, when we are praying for the departed, I always pray for my dear parents and how fortunate I was to have had such love, care, and guidance in my life. Sometimes when I am up here, I become very melancholy as I remember the special times and the sad times. We do not know when our life will be over, but we need to make the very most of every day as it is a gift. When we pray for the world in peace, we can only hope that the brutality of the nations will arrest itself. I would like to share a prayer, it's an old Irish prayer, that I say every morning when I'm having my cup of coffee getting ready for the day to see what will happen next. <laughs> Take time to work. It is the price of success. Take time to play. It is the secret of perpetual youth. Take time to give. It is too short a day to be selfish. Take time to laugh. It is the music of the soul. Take time to love and be loved. It is a God-given gift. Take time to be grateful. It is the key to joy. Take time to meditate. It is the pass of peace. Take time to pray. It is the greatest power on earth. These are all guiding lights in our lives. As you reflect on your stewardship for St. Paul's this year, take time to remember that you each contribute in many different ways. Whatever that is, make a point to take time daily to reflect on St. Paul's community and our journey of growth. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God.